Let's get started. Today we're gonna work on the heart chakra. We're gonna do a vinyasa and we're gonna do postures that balance our heart chakra. Okay, let's come to our seat. Like always, to give welcome to our practice. Connect your thumbs and index fingers together. Close your eyes. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. Inhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale it out. As you settle into your space, Visualize your heart. Visualize all of the dimensions of your heart. Every dimension. The size. The texture. We have a tendency to think about the heart from the chest, from the front. But also think about your heart from the back. So it's almost as if with your Im imaginary breath fingers, you're holding your heart as you inhale, reaching up, and as you exhale through your nose, start to engage in your Ujjayi breath, contracting the back of your throat, And the same thing applies here. When you inhale and exhale, think about the back of your throat. Slightly contracting that glottis muscle so that you can breathe the Ujjayi Pranayama technique to warm the body inhaling about three to six seconds Feeling your heart with love. The heart chakra, of course, is the, the chakra of love. Also known, known as Ananjata in Sanskrit. When you exhale, take the same amount of seconds it takes you to inhale. So try to balance your breath. And you can visualize 
the color of the heart chakra, the chakra of love is the color green, like a jade. like emerald and the sound the mantra for this chakra is yam y a m yam you can also visualize the sound the fourth chakra. So remember we talked about the third chakra which is Manipura, the fire element and the, the it's at the navel point. This one is up. It's the fourth chakra. The element is air. All right, bring your palms together to create heat. And just by doing that, we are already activating our heart chakra. As you rub your hands in front of your heart, you're creating energy. And then place your palms on the face, over the face. And again, rub your hands. This will allow us also to relax the muscles on the face. Imagine these healing hands, healing hands, right? Because full of energy, we bring them to the face to soften, to relax, to heal. And one more time. And again, bring them over your face. And release. Okay, let's come to all fours. Plant your palms below your shoulders and the knees below your hips. We're gonna go back on the exhale. On the inhale, come back forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back and inhale forward. Now we're going to inhale as we come into our cow. Exhale round cat, like a cat stretching, pulling the navel in. Inhaling into cow. Remember this position because I may 
remind you about this spinal alignment, your cow position, and then exhale round into cat. One more time, inhale, beginning to open our heart here. So remember, think about the back of your heart, not just the front. Imagine that with your imaginary breath fingers, you're slightly pushing your heart forward to open your chest. And then exhale round. Inhale back to neutral. And go back into a child's pose. Walk your fingers forward and rest your forehead down. Send the breath into your heart, allowing your heart to melt down, to surrender. Same thing, imagine that somebody is slightly pushing your heart down so that you can relax and surrender. Feel a sense of comfortness, of peace and tranquility. Again, there's no difference whether someone is pushing your back, your upper back, into the earth, or if you're using your breath fingers to push yourself down. It's the same energy. All right, come back to all fours. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're going to turn our wrists so that the fingers face us. If this is too much, just put the fingers to the outside or do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna go back without going all the way back, of course. You, you let the, the, the wrists, the, the palms to come up off the floor for a little bit, that's okay. And then come forward. And then exhale, go back. Come forward, inhale. Come back, exhale. Come forward, inhale. And come back, exhale. Come back to the center. And again, inhale into your cow, exhale into cat, inhale, last thing to come up is the head, don't rush the head, exhale, same thing, inhale into your cow, Exhale into your cat. One more inhale into cow. Hold it here as you open the chest. Once again, imagine that you are slightly pressing your heart forward from your spine. And exhale round. Turn your fingers to face forward. Send your hands forward. Keep your hips over your knees. Send your hands forward little by little until you bring your chin down. If this is too much, you can bring the forehead down. Again, breathe into your heart. If this is too much on your arms, you can bend your elbows. Send your 
So I want you to imagine that your tailbone is like a balloon that is going up towards the sky and in your heart there's a stone that is holding the balloon down. So as your heart melts down, the tailbone goes up. And then slowly come back to all fours. Come to sit. Check your shoulders. Check your arms. Place your hands over your thighs. Take an inhale. Ah, exhale it out through your mouth. Come to all fours. We're gonna go come to downward facing dog. So lift your hips up. Pedal your feet. Shake your head, bicycle your legs if you need to. From here we're gonna roll into half plank with the knees down, so lower your knees down. We're gonna lower down to Chaturanga, bringing first the chest, then the chin, and we come into our first cobra. So cobra is not upward facing dog, cobra is we're not fully extending the arms, the elbows are slightly bent, and we're using your whole spine to lift up rather than the arms. And on the exhale, come back to child's pose. Inhale, all fours. Pull the navel in, press the toes down. We're facing the exhale. We're going to do that again. Lower the knees down, inhale. And as you exhale, chest first, chin second, pelvis down, cobra, inhale, elbows in, squeeze them in. Actually, squeeze them in so you really notice how much you're using your back strength. Exhale, child's pose. Mm. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Because these are so delicious and so energizing, we're going to do one more. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, bend the elbows, chest first, chin second, pelvis third, chin and chest up, fourth, cobra. Exhale, back to child's pose. Hmm. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. And again, imagine that your tailbone is a balloon that wants to go up towards the ceiling. And your heart is like a stone, heavy, heavy stone holding the balloon down. So feeling opposite energy actions here. Your heart is melting as the balloon is lifting up. Slowly begin to walk your feet to your hands. 
Inhale, look up, halfway, hands over your thighs, like a tabletop, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chest comes close to your thighs if, if they're not touching. So don't worry, if they don't touch, just bend your knees, grab your elbows, And then slowly release the arms and begin to roll up. Vertebra by vertebra. Coming into standing. And bring the shoulders down. Inhale, raise your arms up. So you're extending up from the ribs, from the from the hips all the way up to the ribs, not just the arms, right? Here, create the extension, your lungs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Step the feet back to plank or half plank. Lower down, chest. Chin down, pelvis down, inhale. Cobra, not upward, but cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up on the inhale. And then without making any sound, step the foot forward slightly. Bring your left knee down. Inhale, sweep your arms up. So don't sink down on your pelvis. Lift up, lift up through the diaphragm. And then slightly imagine your imaginary fingers, breath fingers, pushing your heart forward from your back to open your heart. Exhale, bring your hands. Down, step the left foot forward. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, arms by the sides. Inhale, extend your arms up. And again, lifting up the diaphragm, pull the navel in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step the feet back, plank or half plank with the knees down. Lower down, chest, chin, down, pelvis. Inhale, up, oh, no, upward, <laughs> cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. I'm so used to saying upward facing dog that I almost, almost made that mistake. <laughs> but let's, we're doing cobra. Okay, lift your left leg up, inhale, just for the purpose of this class. And then, again, we go very slowly, no sound, slow motion, step the left foot forward. Bring your knee down. Inhale, come into your lunge, arms up. Again, just like when we're standing, lifting up through the ribs extending and then slowly taking a little back bend here as you push forward with your imaginary fingers, breath fingers, opening your heart. Exhale, hands down. Step the right foot forward and inhale, come up. Exhale, arms by the sides. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Heart up. Step the feet back. Lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Chest. Chin. Pelvis. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, 
el downward. Inhale, right leg up, point the toes, slow motion, step the foot forward. Bring the knee down. Inhale, come up. Opening through your heart. Exhale, hands down. Lift your back knee up, pressing into your toes. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, lengthen. And this is where you are gonna do your cow spine. So not cat rounding, but more like cow. And then slowly fold with, the, with that action in your spine. This will allow us to not to make the temptation of rounding the spine as we fold. So even if you fold a couple of inches, that's perfect. That's much better than folding with a round and rounded spine. Taking a couple of breaths here. And then again, bend the front knee, bring your left knee down. We're gonna do a twist as we press the left fingers down. Open your right arm, twist. Uh, back bends, heart openers, and twists go hand in hand because we create so much extension in our heart, in our spine, that we want to uh, return our spine to neutral with the help of our twists. Exhale, release, and begin to lift the back leg up for airplane. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and come to standing. Arms by the sides. We're gonna do a little back bend here. In the back bends, it's very important that we just don't go back, right? We wanna extend upwards. I know I'm very repetitive, but I hear many times that people have lower back pain because of the back bends. That's because we're just going back. We're hinging back, but we don't want to do that. We wanna extend up and down creating that, following that extension. So bring your hands over your hips. We're gonna inhale, take a breath as we lengthen upwards. And on the exhale, we begin to send the head back. But remember, lengthening through the ribs, we don't wanna look like a, like a banana, right? We wanna just open the heart. And then slowly, Fold forward, pull the navel in. Beautiful. Now, grab your big toes. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. After, after every back bend, we want to do a folding forward to decompress. Take a couple of breaths. Bend your knees if you need to. And release, inhale, lengthen, step the feet back to plank or half plank, knees, chest, chin down, pelvis, cobra, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, point the toes, extend, pressing through your right heel, very slowly, slow motion, no sound, step the foot forward, and bring your knee down, inhale, come up into your back bend, same thing, you're pressing forward, lengthening upwards. 
supporting your heart with your imaginary fingers on your back, upper back. Lifting up from the pelvis. And then exhale, release the hands down. Lift your back knee up. Begin to straighten your front leg. Take a length, look up. And keeping that cow spine rather than cat, fold ever so slightly, even if it's just one inch down. Slowly bring the right knee down again so that we can do our twist. Press down to your right fingers, open up to your left side, send the arm up, twisting from your third chakra, your fire, navel, conviction. Open your heart. You can also imagine the imaginary hands in your upper spine, sending your heart up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, release. And then lift the back knee up so that we can come into our airplane. Hands and your heart slowly come forward to standing. Tadasana, arms by the sides. We're gonna do another back bend, remember? The alignment cues, we just don't wanna go back, all right? That hurts, no, we wanna go up and just a little bit back. Grab your hips, inhale up, and on the exhale, start to slowly go back. Eyes go back. Where your eyes go, your chest follows. And then slowly fold, pull the navel in. Exhale. And this time, either grab your the back of your legs anywhere, or you can bring the hands underneath your heels, bend the knees, bend the knees a lot, and then as you hold your heels with your hands, then you begin to straighten the legs and relax the head. We're gonna stay here for about five breaths. Your imaginary breath fingers are now pushing your heart forward and down towards the floor. And then slowly release, inhale, take a chair pose. Send your arms up and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step it back to plank or modified chaturanga. Chest, chin down. Inhale, oh, uh, oh see, I almost do it again. Cobra. <laughs> and exhale. Back to that, we're facing dog, breathe out. Slowly bring your knees down and come all the way down on your mat. Bring your chest 
and the chin down. Beautiful. Now relax your legs and send your arms forward like the letter Y. Bring your chin down to the floor. Take a couple of breaths in and out through your nose. Relax the forehead. Beautiful. Now on the inhale, lift everything up. Hold it. And say, yes, I can lift up even more. And exhale, release. Bring your right ear down, arms back, and relax completely. Take a couple of breaths. Notice the energy in your heart. Let your shoulders rest. Bring your chin down. We're gonna do it again. Send your arms forward like a Y. Inhale, lift your legs, lift your chest. Pelvis is pressing down. And exhale, release. And turn your head to the right, relax. Bring your chin down. Find your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Point the toes very slowly, mindfully. Step the foot forward on the exhale. And now, this is optional to keep your back knee up or down for a high lunge inhale remember we're not just collapsing down we're lifting up extending the diaphragm and then slowly begin to straighten the front leg to fold forward And remember, there's a tendency here to round. So try to keep that mind of a cow spine. Now we're gonna do our reverse triangle for a twist. Bring the left hand down. Maybe if, if, if reverse triangle is hard for you, then bring your left hand even further to the left side of your mat and inhale open your right arm up and then slowly release then your right leg back plank lower down chaturanga inhale cobra Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg goes up. And nice and slow, step it forward without any sound. For high lunge, inhale with a heart opening. Remember that 
the balloon now is on your chest going up and then straighten the front leg as you begin to fold forward without rounding the spine exhale pull the navel in again without trying to run away from the feelings that arise or any emotion sensation Again, ready for our spinal twist. Bring your right fingers down or the palm if you've been doing yoga for a while. Or right hand on the outside. Inhale, lift the left arm up. So if I asked you, where is your imaginary breath fingers at right now? Where Will it be? And then slowly release. Step the left foot back. Lower down. All the way down. All the way down. Very nice. So the next, the next exercise might be too hard for you. And if you ha have had elbow surgery, I recommend you that you skip this one and you just do a spinal lift. You can modify. But if, you're, if you are okay with your elbows, you're going to send your arms back, palms facing down. Bring your chin down and we're going to bring the left arm underneath, underneath your body. Yes, you're going to find a place there with your palm pressing down, then help yourself to, to lay over your arm so that you can bring the right arm underneath you with the palm facing down, bring your chin down, unless you stay here for a little bit. This might be too much if you have a lot of calcium deposit in your arms, if you, especially if you are in the computer. And it's one of those postures that you might even scream at you if there's a lot of tension in there, if there's has been past trauma in your arms. And I'm not talking emotional trauma, I'm talking about physical trauma, yeah? That we might have collected throughout the years just by simply being in the computers or, you know, texting or whatever. So just breathe through it and then bring your chin down if it's not yet, this might be your posture for today, or you can lift the right leg up, point the toes. Keep the left leg very relaxed. Keep extending through the right leg. And then slowly release. Check it out, and we do the other side. Lift your left leg up. Keep your right leg relaxed. Keep the chin down. And then slowly release. And then one arm out, and then the other. Oh, it feels so good when you have taken the arms out. Now turn your head over to the right. Relax. Because 
this is a great posture where we're gonna do it again. It's called locus pose. So <clears throat> we're gonna, if, if, if you cannot do this posture, because again, because you had surgery, or, then do normal airplane lift, yeah? Bring your right arm under, palms facing down, left arm under, chin down. Now we start with the left leg, inhale, lift it up. Breathe, 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 breathe. Slowly, without just dropping the leg, relax. And now we do the right leg, inhale. And very slowly, mindfully, release it down. One arm at a time, left arm, right arm, and turn your head over to the left. And relax. It's okay to feel different type of reactions in these postures. So let's just not get attached to those reactions and simply breathe. Okay, bring your chin down. Inhale, upward facing dog. So yes, upward facing dog, the key is to not to collapse, right, on our shoulders. We're lifting away from the shoulders. Come to downward facing dog. Exhale. Now inhale, lift your right leg up. Bend the right knee, look through your right armpit. Stay here or take it further by bringing the right foot down to the side, lifting up into your wild thing. Again, imagine that you have imaginary breath fingers on your upper spine, behind you, and you're lifting that precious heart upwards like offering gesture of the heart. Then look down at your left hand and come back to downward facing dog. Bring your knees down and take a child's pose, relax. Now come sitting, before we do the other side, come standing on your knees. Now we do candle. We do candle, feet that keep with distance apart from each other. Just like when we were standing, we're not just going back, right? We're lifting up and going back, even if it's two inches, that is perfect. Bring your hands on your hips, Elbows in towards one another, pull the navel in. Inhale, legs stand up, lifting up through the ribs. Send the head back and begin to move your eyes back so that you can follow along with your chest. Not hinging from the hips, but extending upwards and back. Pushing with your imaginary breath fingers, the heart up toward the sky. And then exhale, release it down. Hands over your thighs. Ah, exhale it out. Come to all fours, 
downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Bend the knee, open through your hip, look through your left armpit. You can stay here if you don't wanna join us or not today maybe into the bridge or maybe yes, if you wanna try it, go for it and say yes I can. Yes, I will. Yes, I do. I do. Very nice. Then slowly look at your right hand to come back into your downward facing dog. Bring the knees down. Come to standing on your knees once again for another Come on. All right. So remember, you have those ima imaginary hands behind your back, behind your heart, in every dimension. Bring your elbows towards each other. Inhale, stretch up, lifting up, expanding your organs, going back. Exhale, head back. Keep sending your thighs forward. Don't let go of your thighs or your quads. And slowly release, sit down. Let's take a moment here to take, to take what just happened, yeah? These are not easy postures at all, these are this can be quite emotional. We have so much storage here. Again, we're not questioning, we're just aware. Aware, aware, observing, opening. That's what we're doing. Isn't that amazing? We're opening, something is opening, whether that brings us a negative emotion, something is being moved. Something is opening, yeah? And psychologically, when we open our physical heart, our chest, we also begin to feel more confident, more loving, more tolerant, open to opportunities, open to people, open to ideas, to other, other people's thoughts and ideas and beliefs. It doesn't affect us. What the, what the other people think, completely irrelevant to us. We are loving, unconsciously by opening our heart accepting ourselves accepting others okay so from here we're going to do a twist so send your legs forward and we're gonna start by lifting the right leg up and bring it on the outside of the left leg. This is option one. Option two, if it's possible, you can bend your left knee, but you're not sitting on your foot, right? Very nice. Now extend with the left arm up. Remember, we create an extension and then we twist it over to the right. Looking back with our left eye, holding your heart, sending it where you want it to be sent at, with your imaginary breath fingers. And then slowly release. Check it, check it out. 
Now let's do the other side, extend both legs forward to begin. And the left foot goes outside your right thigh. Find stability on your spine, either stay here or bend your right knee, left foot on the outside, point the toes. And from here, we reach the right arm up, extending elbow to the thigh, left arm back, twist back, sending your left shoulder back, heart forward to the left, And then slowly release. Send your left leg forward. After every twist, we, we do a folding forward. So, inhale in stick posture. Stick posture is already preparing us for where we're going, right? We never just go or get out of a posture. We always plan ahead and then slowly fold. Grab your chins or big toes. And then remember that cow position that I asked you to remember at the beginning? That's what we're practicing right now. So we're not rounding forward, we're creating a little back bend here so that we don't compromise our spine, yeah? So if you cannot grab your toes, what you can do is bend your knees, bend your knees, and then slowly as you fold, then you start to slide forward. Breathe. Pull the inner thighs towards one another. And slowly release. Let's come down to our back. Very slowly. Now we're ready for bridge. So we're going to bring the feet hip with distance apart, plant the palms down, and I'm going to give you three options. We all start in bridge. So lift your hips up. Either hold it here or interlace your fingers. If you want to take it further, then bring one palm underneath your shoulder and the other one. And then using your hand strength, press up so that your head goes up. And extend your elbows. Whether you are in bridge or wheel, take a couple of breaths. One. Two. Inner thighs towards one another, three, four, and five, slowly head comes down, and coming back down, hug your knees in towards your chest, rock from side to side, come to Seated, hug your thighs and hold it here, rounding your spine like a, like a cat stretch here. Surrendering to your heart, to your own self. Sometimes to accept ourselves or others, we must forgive ourselves or forgive others. Until we do that, then we balance our chakra. Slowly send your legs forward and come all the way down. 
for our last twisting postures after our back bending, bringing your knees in towards your chest. Roll them over to the left, open your arms and take a look at your right. Close your eyes. Just like in Shavasana, begin to melt down. You can visualize or mentally repeat the mantra yam 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 Bring your knees in towards your chest, neutralize your spine, and then take your knees to the right, and gaze at the left, relax your left shoulder. Yum. 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 Slowly bring your knees back to the center and come to Shavasana. Relax. Turn your palms facing on. Let your heart muscle relax. And just feel that green color. Feel your entire being with love. First feeling the love to your entire being. Loving every 
part of your being. It's almost like you're bathing yourself with unconditional love all over your body. Loving yourself with acceptance unconditionally loving yourself as you respect yourself your entire self You respect your entire self with love, kindness, tolerance, with a sense of gratitude, feeling this love permeate all over your body you find this tranquility and peace peace of joy because you know that you are being completely, fully protected with this unconditional, limitless, abundant feeling of love. So you feel it, you feel it, you sense it. You hear it. You taste it. You see it. You sense yourself being this love. You are love. You are love. Your entire being is love. So much that others sense this burst of love permeate all around you. People see the love in you, the love for yourself. And they love you. They know, they feel the love you have for them. It's unconditional love. And they unconditionally love you back. You are love, they are love, all is love. You are love, they are love. We are love. All is love. It's 
meditate in these words. Visualize every word permeating all over your body, all over your entire being. I am love. You are love. We are They are love. All is love. I am love. You are love. We are love. They are love. All is love. I am love. You are love. We are love. They are love. All is love. Slowly begin to move your fingers, your toes. Bring your knees in towards your chest. And roll forward and back. And forward and back and come to seated to end our practice. So every chakra has a mudra also. <laughs> so it has a sound, it has a mudra, it has an element, it has a color, it has a flower. And the mantra for this is palms together. Just like we do in Namaste. Isn't that great? That's why we started like this. Okay, palms together because it is said that our hands are an extension of our heart. So everything that we do in this world is an extension of our heart. Everything that we do with our hands is an extension of our heart. them together. Let's say three yams just for the sake of this chakra instead of om. Three yams and uh, and then we end our practice with a namaste. Take an inhale. Yam. Yum. Yum. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week. Gracias a todos, a todas. Que tengan un bonito. I don't even know what day is today. I'm, I'm in Zen. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Click like on the bell button to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Hit the like button, share, comment, and keep on loving. Remember, that the world opens when you are open.